There was a beautiful old synagogue in East Pittsburgh. I think it was called Oheb Zedek. How different bar mitzvahs were in those days. What we gave people as a treat who came to the bar mitzvah was Tootsie Rolls. We passed out Tootsie Rolls. There was no luncheon, no dinner. Mill doesn't brag about himself. I only heard him one time say something that I, it caught my breath. I won't repeat it. But it was certainly a very different kind of occasion from the bar mitzvahs that we are familiar with today. But I'll never forget those Tootsie Rolls. I melt fine, and I have very recently turned 87. When I got out of law school, uh, I needed I needed to work, of course, uh, and I fortunately had a cousin who was a lawyer, and I went to him and asked him if I could work in his law office, and he uh, agreed that I could do that, and that became my first job. I sometimes clashed with him because I had somewhat different ideas about how to approach a case and, and the strategy to use. And after six months, he called me in and he fired me. He does like to lead and he does like to um, be in control. In fact, he wrote a book that's called In Charge. And when I questioned him every once in a while about that title, he said he's only in charge of himself. I think in some ways I felt a sense of relief. It solidified in my mind the fact that I didn't belong as an employee, that that was not the way for me to run my life. I had my own convictions, my own ideas about what needed to be done, and the confidence that I could do what I wanted to do and do it successfully. And that was a lot of the foundation of the person that he became, because he knew there were opportunities and possibilities. And he's a, he's a visionary, he's a gutsy guy. Living with Milt and being his wife, I realized how generous he was and how interested he was in helping other people. After I became a lawyer and a businessman, it was natural for me to turn my outward attention to the community and the needs in the community. The more success I was able to achieve, the more obviously I was able to do. You want to be able to help people. You want to make life better for them. And I think that the brilliant vision with the fine awards was to impact lives from now into the future. And I think that's going to be a wonderful legacy for the Fine Foundation to continue even when Milt and I aren't here anymore. I think that's the road to personal happiness, and that's how we can continue to be a vital part of this community.